There's the lights on, but it, I'm not sure. All right, I think we're rolling. Okay, all right. What we have here is a boiler that is flooding. Now, it could be due to uh, lots of dirt, but what we think is happening is the feeder is probably feeding more water in it than it, than it can design. So while uh, the camera is being focused on the sight glass, we're going to hit the feed button on the feeder. That's not too bad, but I'm getting a, 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 a sort of water hammer slam. So we're going to check to make sure that the restrictor is still in the device. So the first thing we do is shut the boiler off. And there's our VXT, which we're going to check. We're going to shut the water off. Very important. I've sometimes forgotten to shut the water off, and things can get very exciting. So we remove the cover, and we're going to then start getting into the, the valve. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take these screws out. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Let's see there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. There you go. One. And we're going to get the other one. one. As you can see, this is a 120 volt unit because the transformer there and the mm -hmm. large wires. And ah, I forgot to disconnect the. One and two. And now we can let this sort of hang. And now there's our valve. Let's sort of push that to the side. And going to get a bucket. Put it there. And now we're going to start taking apart the valve. And make sure we don't uh, try not to lose that. There we are. Put that aside. And now make sure the valve is off. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. And off it comes. One screw and the final screw for the bracket. Okay, and there's our spring on the thing. Oh, we got some water pressure there coming through. Those are the bleeder holes in the diaphragm, which must be open or the diaphragm won't work. So that's a pretty clear indication that they are nice and, and, and free. Mm. So I'll take a little... Here we can get this. There we are. Now, eventually that's going to drain out. Okay, so the diaphragm is in good shape. No buildup of calcium. It's only been in service for about a year, a year and a half. And now, we're going to see if the restrictor is dislodged. If you are seeing this video, then we'll have found the restrictor is dislodged. If you nope, <laughs> if not, this video gets erased. So this is a camera with a little mirror. We're going to stick it in there and see what we got. Well. 
that. Let's see if I can turn the light up. Yes, it's dislodged. It's rotated. I don't know if it's hard to maybe not coming through, but the, it, it should be, it, look, it looks, should look different. Mm. So what has happened is the restrictor has become dislodged and is instead of looking like this, is looking like this at a 90 degree angle. So now what we're going to have to do is take this valve apart and reorient that and make that work. And I think that's going to be it for this video for today.